Hi. So, like many of you, all summer, well, since April, I've been wondering about my kids going back to school and what that's going to look like. And lately, um, I'm in Alberta, Canada. Um, there's been information sent out to let us know what September is going to look like. And for us, we have a few options. One being is in school um, with some health distance, you know, measures. And another one would be... Um, distance learning so you'd be learning the exact same things that um, the people in school would be learning but you're doing it from home or you could also have the option of pulling them out and doing homeschooling and so um, I'm sure many of you have kind of tried to rack your brain trying to figure out what you're doing and we're kind of going with the plan of trying it out so um, on last week the, we got an email saying that we have to make a choice, you know, whether we're going to send them to school or keep them home. And um, so I just filled in the form. <laughs> and we are sending them to school. Um, I've told the girls that they have to try school for two weeks. And then after two weeks, we'll talk about what it's like, what they feel like, do they feel it's comfortable, are they happy to stay, do they want to go home, um, because our school made a video showing us what the school looked like, what the changes will be like, and so that's one thing. Both of the girls said, oh, that's doable, um, but it's one thing to see it, and then it's another thing to actually do it and do it every day, and um, I could easily say, oh, let's just try two days, but I don't think that that's long enough because I think you really have to be trying something for a little bit before you actually make up your mind. So that's what we're going to try, um, is sending them to school. So I know if you're a parent, you're probably struggling with this question, wondering what you're going to do. And for all of you, it's going to be different. It's going to look different for all of us. And just know that, you know, you're making the best decision for your family with the information that you have and to have peace about that. There is no right answer for everybody. And I think what's making this even harder is um, we still don't really have as much information as we could, right? So I even called the principal and I asked her about um, what does at-home learning, what is it going to look like? Is it going to be like it was in the spring? Is it going to be different? Is it going to be live classes? Is it going to be recorded? And she really can tell me that much information, just that it'd be the same exact, um, so the same things that the kids would be learning in school, the same expectations they would have to be doing from home and to expect full learning days. And so that seemed like a lot to me, um, and I'm not sure how flexible it's going to be. So if the kids don't like being in school, um, I think right now the plan is to um, homeschool them if they don't like being at school. Because I, I don't really like the rigidity of having to have my kids be at live meetings, certainly because I'll be balancing more than one kid. Anyways, I'm not sure if any of this is helping you in your decision making. I know that if you live in different parts of the country or the world, um, the numbers might look very different for you. The options might be different. Um, I just wanted to share kind of what we're doing and just encourage you to have peace about your decision. And like I tell my kids and I tell myself, I can always change my mind. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyways, if you want to comment, let me know below what you guys are doing and maybe your reasoning and we can encourage one another just to um, do our best and to keep going. Okay, bye.